Don't be stupid. Subscribe now. There are always new videos and shit, like Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and in between. On the last part of Francis and Her Rabbit, Hopper and Francis were so upset by the weather they didn't know what to do. So Hopper told her stories of his past and his parents and how they met. Hopper was terrified of the thunder, and Francis suddenly came up with an idea. Francis knew exactly what to do with Hopper. She reached into her dresser. No, not for a dildo, thank you very much, but for her drawing kit. Look, she has a big sheet of paper and a nice set of crayons. Now Hopper is so excited. Francis can't wait to draw. What is she going to draw, she wonders. She lays out all of her crayons. Hopper's like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to be a part of this. Rabbits, incidentally, can only distinguish between blue and green. Wow, look at all these magnificent crayons! Francis is like, hmm, which one should I use first? She's trying to figure out what to draw. Hopper's like, why don't you draw a nice picture of the tree or outside, since it's so shitty out? Look at that Francis with her fashion forward couture and today Paris hairstyle. She's fabulous! I totally agree, 43 Aquaman. I couldn't have said it better myself. Francis goes to town, taking Hopper's suggestion of drawing the outside. She starts with the tree and adds branches to it. Hopper, being the little art critic that he is, gets out of his house and inspects Francis's drawing. No, no, this is all wrong, said Hopper. Come on, I've pooped pellets with more soul than this. What are you thinking? Francis is like, hmm, I think you're right, Hopper. I need to add some life to it. It's rather dull. It's like a sad tree, she said. Well, of course it is, dummy. It's raining outside. It's affecting your mood and your behavior. I'm your rabbit, not your shrink. Jeez. Here. Let me get you a crayon. Here, okay, here. Make some leaves. Add some life to your stupid tree. Here, wait a second. Let me get this. Is that it? I can't distinguish anything but the blues and the greens. Here, is that green? Yeah, that's green, right? Francis took the crayon. It was the green one. Thanks, Hopper. And she started to add leaves to her tree, giving it some more life and vitality. Hopper was so impressed. Here, wait. Add some over there, stupid. Over there. Hopper the whole time was telling her what to do. What a backseat artist. Yeah, you, Hopper. <laughs> oh, please. He's acting like he can't hear me. Oh, there you go, Francis. Francis was so impressed with her own drawing, she wanted to keep going. Look how happy she is. She don't care that it's raining outside. Who gives a sh**? Oh, here you go. I think this is red. Why don't you add some fucking apples? And that's exactly what Francis did. She took that crayon from Hopper and started adding apples to the tree. Oh, wow. Now that's a happier tree, she thought. Of course it is, Hopper said, because he was able to read her thoughts. Hopper was like, we must think of what to add next. Oh, you're doing such a great job, said Hopper to Francis. Thank you. But I'm telling you, said Hopper, it needs something else. Hmm, I wonder what it is. I know what it is, said Francis, and she went to town. I wonder what she's going to draw next. Hopper couldn't wait. Oh my goodness, look at that. 